Want to know more about GoPro? In this video, we are going to talk about GoPro getting hot and how to stop the overheating. It is quite normal for GoPro to get hot or any electronic device for that matter. Since it consumes power, the internal parts can sometimes trap that heat and it manifests in the external layers of the gear, especially those with a metal build. But if it happens, it is good to know when and when not to get alarmed. And that's exactly what I'll share with you here. In today's guide, you will learn why does GoPro get so hot, what to do if your action camera overheats, and how to prevent this from happening. So if you're ready to know the secrets to a cooler and a healthier gadget life, then this one is for you. Coming up. Hey photo enthusiasts, Marjorie here with Digital World Beauty giving you the best tips and tools for becoming a better photographer. On this channel, we share tech gear reviews, course recommendations, and how-to tutorials. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point of this video, check out the links in the description because I list out everything I mentioned. Without further ado, let's get started. Shall we? Is it normal for GoPro to get hot? And how to stop the overheating? So, why does GoPro get hot? For people who always use electronic devices like phones, laptops, and etc., you might probably have already encountered overheating issues at least once in your life. Just like these gears. Are GoPro supposed to get hot? Well, of course. Whether it's a GoPro Hero 7, 8, 9, especially the latest one, the Hero 10 Black had the overheating issue. But before we dive deeper into the troubleshooting part, it is important for you to know what's causing the problem. This way, it will be easier to solve moving forward. So here are the top 5 most common reasons why your action camera could heat up. Lengthy videos. Isn't it amazing how your camera can record videos non-stop for hours? What's not exciting about it is that there is a great chance for your device to overheat and worse, get damaged. Although there are no strict limits as to how long you can record video, though GoPro does split videos into segments, it's good to know some numbers to help you decide. According to the brand, the latest model, Hero 10 is capable of shooting 5K footage for 20 minutes non-stop. But this doesn't mean you cannot record beyond that. What they're trying to say is that this is the safest time frame before your tiny gear overheat. Next is temperature. Another biggest contributor to overheating issue is the external temperature. So let's just say if it's too hot outside, chances are your camera will get hot faster. Let's not forget that high levels of external heat can worsen the already hot insides of the gear. And in order to counteract what's happening inside the device, the temperature outside should be cooler. Next is low memory cards. While there's really no direct correlation between overheating and a slow memory card, there are certain points that could trigger the buildup of heat. For instance, if you're recording Ultra HD video and your SD card cannot quite keep up, it will take more effort for your processor to do the heavy work. Hence, it could lead to your gadget quickly heating up. Next is poor ventilation. One of the most uh, obvious culprit is, of course, poor ventilation. When you see your action camera, you need to give it some airflow once in a while. To prevent a gadget from getting too hot, it's good to let it breathe in between footage, even just for a few seconds or maybe for a minute. You can either choose to have some cooling device with you, a portable mini fan maybe, or just let the camera rest for a while and then use it afterward. Next is outdated firmware. Lastly, but definitely one of the most significant is the gadget firmware. 
actually the brand did admit that there were significant overheating issues when recording on a Hero 10 at maximum resolution. But just this October, they also announced that they are launching a firmware update to resolve this issue. An updated firmware will give the processor some breathing room. Since the operations will be smoother, the heart of your device will not be overworked. So what are the things to do when GoPro overheats? Now you may be wondering, how can I prevent my action camera from overheating? The answer is quite obvious. Find out the reason why your gear is in that state. And from there, find the best solution. Now, let me give you some tips on how to prevent this. And also, I will be sharing some effective GoPro overheating fixes. Keep your firmware updated. The best and the most reliable way to stop your camera or your GoPro from overheating is keeping the firmware updated. And you have to make sure that you have installed all the latest versions because that usually contains bug fix designed to keep your camera at its optimal condition. But of course, we all know that this won't give us a 100% guarantee that your device won't get hot. Next, let your device rest. I definitely know how it feels to pause between recordings. Sometimes, we're so afraid to miss out some details. That's why we end up taking extra long footages without realizing that this can affect the equipment. The good thing is that if you forget to give it a break, the camera does that for itself. Notice how your device can sometimes turn it off automatically once it gets too hot. Then that's your gear's preventive measure so as not to damage the internal part. You may opt to do this voluntarily though. Sometimes letting it rest doesn't necessarily mean that you have to turn it off. You can simply stop taking videos once in a while. Let it breathe. Next is to provide proper airflow. Since there's no way to control the external environment when shooting, it's good to always know how to provide proper airflow to your device. You can easily do this by moving your camera from time to time while shooting. But if in case you need to record steadily in one position, make sure to take proper measures to ensure there is adequate airflow. You may use whatever cooling methods you know. By the way, here are the top three most popular models of this brand. First, GoPro Hero 9. This is one of the latest and greatest models. It has detachable lens with 20 MP resolution, 5K shooting mode with dual screens, front and rear. Number two is the GoPro Hero 7. This is the best, cheapest alternative. It has hyper smooth video mode with a robust build for land and water. And next is the GoPro Max. It has a 360 degree camera that vloggers love. GoPro Max has three cameras in one with unbreakable stabilization. It also has top 360 and a stereo audio. And it's definitely advisable for future YouTubers. Later on, you'll understand why I haven't added the latest or the newest Hero 10 Black model in the list yet. The main reason for this? Processor. As the device central unit processes the data, it consumes so much power especially at very high resolutions. Naturally, it can heat up faster than recording a lower quality video. Earlier, I mentioned the possibility of Hero 10 overheating while recording long videos at max resolution. Actually, the company already admitted that there are some issues with this model getting a bit too hot when shooting with a 5.6K format. That's not totally surprising though. Given the ultra high resolution and a tiny processor or body, that's likely to happen. There's not much airflow inside since the gear is designed as compact as it can be. But of course, for its price point, you'll expect much more. The good thing is that GoPro has already released a statement recognizing this issue and that they're releasing a firmware update to resolve it. But what if it does not fix the issue? Well, I hate to think it, but it could be possible that there's more to this overheating problem 
than just a mere need for an update on the device firmware. If it comes to this, then it would be hard to recommend Hero 10 as the best model of the brand yet. A lot of people would agree that increasing power means higher heat. And probably we'd have to wait for GoPro 11 for a case redesign. A wiser approach to this while waiting for the update is to minimize using unnecessary features. If GPS and Wi-Fi are not needed, then turn it off. And another thing that could do the trick is to record videos at lower rates. This would extend the runtime for probably around 5 minutes more. I know that isn't a very appealing fix, but it's honestly better than nothing. They also launched a new battery pack for Hero 9 and 10 called Enduro. This upgrade is supposed to improve your camera's performance and to lengthen the runtime of the gear. Your GoPro getting hot is as normal as a smartphone gets heated up when used non-stop. Properly taking care of your action camera will make it last longer and perform better. I still find this old saying, prevention is better than cure, effective. Before you do damage to your gear, start taking care of it the right way. And make sure to prevent it from overheating as much as possible. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Has your GoPro ever got too hot? What did you do when your device overheated? Are there other effective remedies you can share? And finally, what would you do with the newly released GoPro Hero 10 overheating issue? Risk buying it or get the Hero 9 model instead? Let us know your thoughts and experiences below.